about one variable at a time whatever the distribution discrete continuous whatever we have taken we have talked about taking one variable at a time for example uh, the number of number of deaths or uh, number of claims that is in the discrete where the variable is only one or uh, for that matter in when we translated it to continuous the claim amount so these are like one single variable now it may so happen that we talk about the the claim amount of of one type of policies versus the claim amount of other type of policy so they are like two different random variables so when i have to talk about overall claim how do i model it right i i we have more, we have looked at let's say it's better to use a log normal distribution uh, for claim amount if it is one if it is one variable called overall claim amount or claim amount for one kind of a policy then that log normal distribution is fine now if there are two such types of policies one a life policy and one a non life policy i want to find out overall and life policy is behaving in some manner the non life policies are behaving in some other manner the distribution of the life policy is uh, is let's say x distribution for a for a non life policy it is a y distribution then if i combine this x and y because i need to find out as a company what could be my overall claim amount i am not bothered too much about life specific or non life specific overall in it so it's like addition of these two whether whether the addition of these two distributions again follows a log normal or not and if it follows log normal again what are the parameters of that what are the mean what is the mean of that what is the variance of that that is what is uh, being contained in this uh, session of joint distributions we are looking at uh, two or more variable together and uh, especially when these two or more variable are in some kind of addition or subtraction kind of a form that is where uh, we look at these application but if they are in a multiplication kind of a form we call them as compound distribution if they are either in addition or uh, subtraction kind of a form we are uh, using one kind of a mechanism if they are in a multiplication kind of a form like uh, if i want to model the overall claim amount probably i may take i may want to do a separate model for number of claims and i want to do a separate uh, model for average claim amount and after that i may want to multiply the two so wherever that kind of multiplication comes up we are calling them uh, as the compound distributions which we will see in our next session but here we are focusing primarily on the the addition or subtraction relationships uh, between the two variables are taking two variables uh, together finding out the joint probabilities between them so whenever we are talking about uh, two variables simultaneously we are calling them as bivariate distributions or probably if there are 100 variables we are talking of we then call them as multivariate the the common name for taking more variables together is nothing but it's a multivariate distribution one variable is called as a univariate most of the most of the things which we have looked at till date fall into the category of univariate distributions now here whenever we talk about bivariate we just don't talk about x we talk about both x and y together the probability of x equal to something y equal to something like uh, okay i am performing two events one is i am throwing a dice if i talk about a discrete case one is i am throwing a dice two is i am tossing a coin so there is something that i get on the dice there is something that i get on the coin toss these are like two different uh, variables i want to find out what is the 